What's up guys? Today could be a really big day across Illinois and Indiana. Right now I'm at my house looking at current model data. Looks like the most recent HER that I'm looking at does show some decent supercells along the Illinois, Indiana area. Um, there will be a threat later on, maybe by eastern Iowa, uh, western and central Illinois, but I think our main focus around that five to seven time frame will be these cells here along the Illinois-Indiana border. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Um, all hazard risk today. We'll be teaming up here with Ben and Aaron, and we'll see how today goes out. So see you guys. So we got the northern mode in northern Illinois with a triple point sub with a lot of 3K of that could produce a few tornadoes. And then the dry line in western Indiana and eastern Illinois, right along the border, especially in the central area where uh, storm nation looks pretty uh, robust, especially during the evening time frame. And that's what we're going to be targeting here tonight. I think we got a good hour of uh, discrete cells before they become uh, linear, um, which for us actually works out because we can chase them right back up into Michigan. Yeah, like we'll, we'll probably see some dust in the clouds uh, once we get into position here. It's all elevated, not really at along the surface, so not really like last week, um, but still dust never, nevertheless. In fact, uh, where there's a blizzard happening currently in Iowa and Minnesota, they've had some dust even filtrate in there where it's snowing and there's dust particles falling down. So wow. don't see that every day. Yeah. All right, so SBC issues mesoscale discussions updating us on um, the environment that's out there. You can see that this hatched region is actually the area that we are targeting um, that is right next to where near Rennesailer is at on the northern side. So you can see this hatched area. It says risk of tornadoes, risk for tornadoes, including a strong tornado or two, is likely to increase across much of east central Illinois by 5 to 7 p.m. Yep. What's up, guys? Drew here. We got Ben right here. Right here, we're in Renna Sailor, Indiana, right now, waiting for the line of storms here. All hazard threat, really strong southerly winds here. We're going to expect that tornado threat to come over here. Multiple tornadoes have already happened today. We've got clear skies right now. Storms are isolated supercells racing up to the northeast as we speak. So, we're going to intercept those here shortly. Till and see ya. We've got all this dust that we've accumulated throughout Illinois and Indiana. y'all we are on a supercell storm that was just tornado warn had a confirmed tornado by the georgetown area we are in indiana about 20 to 30 minutes probably 30 minutes north uh west of lafayette watching the storm come to us and we are ready to dominate here you can see the storm motion right here though it's moving along here so there's definitely some rotation here it's just not tight but you can see clouds moving along here Yeah, I, I guess just keep heading east, and then if we're far enough ahead of it, then we can stop again. Yeah, we got this area. Oh my, look at the rotation above us. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh! Beautiful to the south. I just caught that. Oh my. That was insane. This thing's going crazy. This thing's ramping up. Yeah, it's it's tightening to our south. Keep going east. Oh, you fall right there! Keep an eye on the road. Look at that. Look at that on screen. Look at that power line. Yeah. It's wrapping around. Look at that wrap. Yeah, right there. It's wrapping around. Wrapping around. Right there. Yeah, you can see it. Yep, we got wrapping motion yep, right yep, here. Yep, yep. Guys, we're gonna have a front row seat in front of this here. Uh, so you're just a little bit there. Oh, you oh, see the yep. bolt? Yep. 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 Oh, yep. oh! Oh, right now. Enjoying your food, Aaron? 
Oh yeah. Yeah, Ben getting his food right now.